So how this works is that we can check uh, we can check various different things on the side panel here. The vehicle, um, this sedan, costs roughly 650 to make. So um, a safe amount to just sort of sell it at would be say 200 or um, 1,200 right around there. So this production cost doesn't factor in taxes and the amount that you had to pay to like say your branch and taxes and all that. So with that said, it's generally safer to assume that the amount that you're actually paying per vehicle is about one and I would say one and a quarter to one and a half higher than this actual production cost here. So uh, with that said, yeah, I think I'll set the selling price to uh, 1300 and I'll add that over here to the selected rather selling vehicles and people will just gradually sort of sell those over time. Now, um, with that said, uh, a good way to sort of base uh, how much you want to sp spend on, say, pricing your vehicles is that, again, you want to keep track of that per capita number. Price it right around three to five times that sort of per capita number because that's pretty much the average people are willing to spend on a car and they'll try to buy one every one once or twice every 10 years. So that's a nice way to base, say, how far of in tech you're supposed to be along with um, how much the development, uh, or rather build costs are there. Now, um, getting the distribution the factory selling things is, say, more so on the easier part of selling these vehicles. The actual hard part is that you need to spend some serious cash on, say, marketing. Because nobody will buy, actually buy these vehicles unless they can, say, see them. And with that said, we are going to put down a huge amount of cash on advertising. Because advertising is more or less a make or break type of thing. So over time, different types of advertising will pop up and they will gradually gain uh, significance over time. And as you can see here, there's like TV, internet, and radio stuff that's, our, stuff that's pretty much locked for now. We can queue those in for a total sort of a monthly, uh, say, revenue sort of expenditure cost. And that will effectively give us some market, or rather some market control. Um, and going from there, I mean, that's really all we have to set up at this point. So advance the game by one turn, and hopefully we will make a profit. And it looks like we did. We made 18 grand that month. So our cash flow is uh, in the black now, which is really rather nice. Our memo will say that, of course. And we can go back to this production ledger to check how many cars we've produced how many cars we sold and it looks like we produced 50 sold 50 we're holding zero in reserves because we don't have any excess production everything that we make is being sold immediately so yeah that is kind of that it's nice and uh going back to the reports we can check two uh rather three more more reports now that are fairly important here we can check the vehicle demands to check say how many vehicles we're selling and how much of the demand we are actually filling um we can we can check say the prestige of our company as in what our company's reputation is compared to uh, in various different categories here and yeah some of the car like the various different AI com companies out there are geared towards different things so as you see some of these companies are have great performance slash racing stance some of them are great or rather say getting into the luxury market and stuff like that so it looks like currently our overall image is abysmal but our our sort of um, company image as a luxury car producer is uh, fantastic so that's kind of good and I think those are just randomly generated at the beginning of the game and of course it's based on the uh, the first car that you sort of push out so yeah that's sort of that and you also have the marketing effect and that that effectively just tells you what your marketing sort of um, coverage is inside a uh, inside a particular area so the newspaper is pretty much the dominant one for the for the most part and evidently currently we have fantastic in that so that's good um, going back to the vehicles demanded panel here I want sh to I want to repeat this because it's fairly important the sales number is just actually like you know what your sales are compared to what you're producing the, the demand is how much of the demand you're fulfilling I believe so with that said even uh, currently it says our demand is very low that means currently we're producing way too little in terms of cars and that's kind of why we have a very high sales uh, number over here if that gets to fulfilled you are then producing the exact amount of cars you kind of need to to sort of sell out your produced sort of batch every single month so with that said, um, what we can do here for the next few months is that we can adjust sort of how many, say, um, 
factories we want to, or rather how many production lines we want, and to an extent how many factories we want, selling our product here. And then we'll fast forward. I may have over adjusted for the amount of cards we've so we're selling here. Evidently not. So now we are selling off the whole lot here. So 126 vehicles being produced and sold every month. And that'll of course factor again into the reports section over here. And it'll just do its thing. So if we go back to vehicle um, demands over here, evidently there is most likely a huge, dem huge demand for our vehicles. And that's sort of why it's still at very low, but we're still selling tons and tons here and there. So yeah, that is effectively how you can make your first uh, bit of profits inside this game. And I think we've already uh, reached that sort of 20 minute mark for a first episode. So you know, have to give a shout out here sooner or later. But you know, be sure to like and subscribe as that does help me quite a bit. Of, and of course, those uh, automatic sort of notifications do help you keep track of my uploads here and there. Right, so moving forward from this part, we probably would want to expand our operations, probably build a few more lines of production, and eventually research and effectively put out a second vehicle or another yearly model of our current vehicle. So with that said, let's um, let's tech up our factories and let's get those things going on. So I mean, currently, just due to the size of London and all, we are currently like selling on in a very sort of domestic but large enough market for for it to just sort of go over our production cap and what we can do now is that we can expand our factories and we can do this by uh, doing two things we can either resize the factory by say building upon it but this is a very expensive sort of um, deal where alternatively we can retool the factory and retooling is usually pretty cheap is uh well it's cheaper and it is extends your production so that's that's the main thing there and what retooling does is that over time your factories will lose in efficiency so you can retool them to get back to 100 percent but at the same time when you retool your lines you add at least for the early or rather the first few retoolings you gain more production lines so we're going to retool our factory right now that's going to bump our lines of production from five to seven so we gain two more that's going to take a month so we're going to take a month's loss in profits due to the actual cost and retooling and of course um, selling rather uh, loss of production and hence loss of sales. So yeah, that'll be that. Once that finishes, we can go back to the world map, click here. And again, there's a, there's a more of a mass tasking way you can do these tasks. But for now, we're just going to go back inside this panel, put that uh, add and put our current model in full production once more. Close this, close this, go back to office, fast forward times. And now we should be, say, selling a few more of the cars. So yeah, so that number will go up. And we'll check this reports again. And oops, went into the history tab again, and we just really want to check and see whether or not the demand here is filled, meaning that we've effectively run out of people who are sort of actively looking for this model of car to, um, to really sell like that. And I just received a message here, text, so I'm just checking that right now. Um, anyhow, back to the game. Um, going from here... As you saw inside that report once again, it looks like we're starting to build up some reserves because evidently only about 140 units are being moved inside London. So once you reach this point, what do you do? Well, you can obviously branch out into other portions of the map. However, um, as you do that, you sort of accumulate transport costs. And again, that of course factors into how well you uh, really want to get your things set up here. So um, what I think I'll do here is that I will expand into pretty much uh, England over here and Scotland because just because those those areas are nearby and shipping will be fairly cheap. So what we can do here is that I'm going to build a few branches so that uh, we have some offices here and there which will get in contact with the dealers and we'll just build the very minimum level of these because the, the, deal, the branches are horrendously expensive in terms of their monthly costs here. And quite honestly, you don't say need them to be at the full level um, until very late inside the game. So we'll start off with uh, just say 45 new employees in three different new locations. And now seeing as how we're say accumulating a lot of these um, say areas here, what we can do is uh, we can use this uh, this little icon thing. It's a it's like um, 
It's like a manual calculator. I don't really know what it's called, but we can click on it and go on from here. We can do some mask or uh, uh, mass orders to sort of um, do things that we would otherwise need to take a long time on doing in that sort of um, world map. So because we found it a few new branches, what I can do is that I can go to distribution, sell everywhere, choose the model of a car, and I think we're selling it at uh, 250. So I think I'll bump up the price by 50 just to just to sort of cover the expenses slightly um, for moving cars so we'll set the price there go back to this panel here and this is effectively a mega panel that shows you production um, distribution and pretty much marketing at once here so it's a nice way to see everything but at the same time it's probably not something that say you would really want to um, play out of and as you can see, if I can sort of tab through various different branches and they all have this car selling now at that price that we have uh, specified it at. So um, with that said, we can also say do the marketing as well. So we can go to click on newspapers, all vehicles and brands. We can go to brand and we can say add. Uh, we can go to say tab over to one of these new places. And I think a good number to spend on advertising would be 100 for, say, brand. So we're going to keep that back in, apply to all. So that's going to put it effectively at every single one of these locations, except for London, because currently in London, we are just sort of um, spending quite a bit over there. Actually, um, let's see, we'll just put the slider at the midpoint, set it like that so it'll sort of tier it respectively with um, the population of various different locations. And I think we'll go to a vehicle and we'll do respectively the same thing. And yeah, that'll pretty much set it up like that. And then that's it. that is the very basics of it. Of course, we can do some more marketing if we'd like, but we can hit the end turn button as it, as you can see here. More profits are being generated now, seeing as as how more cars are now being sort of moved. And it looks like we're moving the full amount of production now. In fact, we're actually moving slightly more of it because we have some reserves made from um, excess capacity right there. And that'll just sort of shift over time. Sometimes it'll dip down. Sometimes it'll go up. Evidently, it looks like we're so, we're still selling more than say we are currently producing which is nice however our profits sort of um sort of went down slightly over there so perhaps we're moving cars farther away or perhaps something happened and now it's gone up and yeah your, your, your profits will be sort of jagged like that where sometimes you have really low months sometimes you'll have really high months and evidently in that month we sold all of our reserves and i think i'll skip one more just to see what our natural sort of uh selling point is evidently um can we reach that and as you can see it's kind of jagged so I think we'll uh, call it a day here, but you know, be sure to like and subscribe as always, and I will be back with more Gear City later on. So see you guys then.